So what is worst case? A worst case analysis sets each individual tolerance is set to a point in its range, which is typically a tolerance limit, where it will result in either the maximum or minimum output at a specific measured location. Um, in a worst case analysis, you are setting all of your tolerances to their worst possible spot for that specific area you're measuring. So it's the only way to guarantee that uh, with good detail parts, that measure will not be out of specification. Now, what does that look like? In one dimension, if I just have these three blocks, I have a blue block, I have a red block, and I have a green block. Uh, the blue block has a 10 plus or minus one dimension, red block seven plus or minus one, and the green block has 12 plus or minus two. So at nominal, if I measured all those up, that adds up to 29 millimeters. So then, if I were to set each of those tolerances, each of those dimensions to their minimum allowable for their detail print, I'll end up with nine millimeters for my blue block, six for my pink block, and 10 for my green block. If I set all under their maximum, I'll get 11 millimeters for my blue block, eight for my red block, and 14 for my green block. So my minimum is 25 millimeters, if I just add all these up, and my maximum is 33 millimeters. So overall, I go from my nominal plus or minus four millimeters when I look at my worst case variation here. 